you guys, we are getting closer and closer to when The Sims 4 turns free to play, which if you look at the calendar and do the math is now less than two weeks away, coming up on October 18th, which does fall on a Tuesday. Now there is also going to be a Sims Summit stream, again, for those of you that do not know, apparently they're going to be talking about some stuff. I don't know if it's gonna be Sims 4 related or if it's gonna be something else. Personally, I feel like if they're making the Sims 4 base game free to play, it's gotta be something else they're announcing. But honestly, at this point, it might just be best if we don't get our hopes up. Well, that's for those of you that actually are interested in something else or interested in seeing the next gen Sims title. But the Sims 4 going free to play, like what exactly is that going to mean for the Sims 4 as a whole? Obviously, they probably have plans to continue rolling out content for the game for the next couple of years, but we really haven't received too many hints as to what could be announced at this Sims Summit stream. The Sims team has been very, very, very quiet the past, I'd say, week or two weeks now. With only two weeks before this Sims Summit stream, they did just announce yesterday that there is a laundry list and a free patch update that is coming sometime this month for the game, but that is all we know at this time. But whatever it is, it's going to be something pretty big. I mean, they wouldn't build all of this hype with an announcement over a month in advance for a Sims Summit stream. I don't know, we've never had a Sims Summit stream before, at least not one that I can remember. So I'm starting to think that it's gotta be something pretty big. I don't feel like they would just announce a roadmap like this for a Sims Summit stream. Like all this hype over a month of counting down to a specific date for a specific stream just for a roadmap for The Sims 4? Yes, I feel like a roadmap could maybe be a part of it, but if that's the only thing, I think that's a little too much, but at the same time, it wouldn't be the first time that they've hyped something up only for it to not be, you know, what players were expecting. But let me know down below what you guys think they're going to talk about during The Sims Summit stream. Obviously, they did make a tweet yesterday along with the laundry list talking about The Sims Summit stream. They did tweet out an article that was posted previously counting down the days until the Sims 4 base game is free to download across PC, Mac, and consoles. Mark your calendars and tune in for even more announcements on October 18th behind The Sims. So the first part of this tweet being about Sims 4 and the second part just saying more announcements. They don't specify more announcements for The Sims 4. They just have behind The Sims, not behind The Sims 4. That's why I'm starting to think that it could maybe be something different or maybe it's even like a spinoff or something. I don't know. Again, share your thoughts and speculation below. Curious to hear what you guys think is going to be announced at this Sim Summit stream, but of course wanted to give you a little reminder that we're now two weeks away from this and I will be going live with a live reaction and discussion. I can't wait to do that. Like it's going to be like the day. Like it's going to be crazy. I'm excited, but also pretty nervous at the same time. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Take care and have Happy simming. Want to get to know me more? I'm sharing a more personal look into my life behind the scenes over on Patreon. You'll have access to lifestyle videos, mukbangs, and all sorts of other fun vlogs, as well as have your name featured at the end of videos like the one you just finished watching as my way of saying thank you for supporting me a little extra. If you aren't already over there, I hope to see you soon.